guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. I uploaded a new vlog yesterday and it is doing really well views wise and I'm not really sure why but if you have already watched that video, thanks for watching. I went to the gym and CVS. No, I went to the gym and Walgreens. I was checking my email last night and I had a promo email from them. And if you use a certain code, you could get a free card. And Gabe's birthday is on Saturday, so it was the perfect timing. I just got a card with three pictures of the baby on it. Today I got a package. I ordered this stuff probably a little over a week ago. And I've never heard anybody talk about this brand, but I got an ad on TikTok and it's pretty affordable. This is from Gloss Medics. The first thing I got was the Face and Body Ice Roller. It just looks like this. And I got this Dual Action Cleansing Brush. Their Lightweight Daily Moisturizer. This is a Clarifying Gel Cleanser. I got some Spot Stickers Checkmate Patches. This is what the ad was for on TikTok. It's their Fairy Lip Glaze. And lastly is their Peptide Glaze Serum. These two products remind me a lot of Rode. Just the way they're marketed and what they're for. And I will try them out and see if they compare to Rode. If they're better, if they're worse. If you have tried this brand, let me know. Gabe is out right now. He's at Walmart getting a couple things. We are going to North Carolina tomorrow, and so I need to pack for that. But I'm going to unpackage this stuff, and I'll see you later. Hey guys, it is a while later now, and I started packing, Hi. and I wanted to show you the products that I have used up. Hi. I am wearing the Kylie Cosmetics <laughs> Matte Liquid Lipstick in... What? Cozy K. Hi. And I just wanted to show you the products that I used up in September. Starting off with soap. This is the White Barn Mountainside Mist. It definitely smells like a cologne, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. These are the Peace Out Acne Day Dots. I didn't mean to get the daytime ones, and I think these are kind of expensive compared to other pimple patches. I kind of bought these on impulse, so I probably wouldn't buy these again. Next is just a supplement that I heard Maggie McDonald talk about. It's the Clear Stem Dietary Supplement. Just looks like this, and I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't notice any breakouts while using this, but I think it's kind of pricey, so I don't need it. And lastly is Bath & Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And this smells pretty good, so I would definitely consider buying this again. It is about 4.30 right now. Probably around 5, I'll put a pizza in the oven. And we'll just watch TV or something. But I just wanted to show you those products. And I will leave them linked down below in case you want to check them out. We are in my childhood room right now. We are at my parents' house in North Carolina. This was my room from when I was in 7th grade to when I went to college. So this is where my YouTube channel started. It is Friday now. I just wanted to do a quick Ulta haul. This is from yesterday. I've been wanting to try this out. All of these products. I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And I got the shade Fair Light. I'm not normally someone who wears blush, but I really wanted to try this out. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in Rosé You Slay. This is only $4. It's the Squeeze Me Lip Balm. And then I saw an ad for this on Instagram. And I was going to place an order online. But then I realized that they have it at Ulta. 
I just got the discoloration correcting serum. Hey guys, it is Saturday now. I haven't talked to you in a while. Just to recap, on Wednesday we drove down from West Virginia to our house in North Carolina and we were here for about an hour and then we drove down to my parents house. My mom was out of town and so my dad was there so we saw him and we stayed for two nights and then yesterday we drove back to this house and today is Gabe's birthday and he is out doing a class right now outside of Raleigh. On Thursday, Gabe and I took the baby to town and we went to Walmart and Ulta, Starbucks, and the pet store. And I got Biscuit a new harness and a new leash. My son just came running over here and he's staring at the camera. We came back here yesterday and Gabe's aunt came over to visit. Like I said, today's Gabe's birthday and he's not going to be back until later tonight and I've just been here with the baby and the dogs trying to clean up and I just wanted to say hi. I am wearing the e.l.f. Halo Glow foundation and the blush and I really like it. I really like the vanilla frosting squeeze me lip balm and I'll leave those linked down below in case you want to check them out. Hi. Hi. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. We are back in West Virginia. We got back here at around 6 in the morning because we left late. I got up, well, actually, I was already awake, but I started to unpack and then I played with the baby and then I just took a nap on the floor of his playroom because I was just tired. And Gabe's home with the baby right now and they're probably napping since Gabe didn't text me back. I had to go to the post office because I had two packages that were there on hold. I purchased this. It wasn't sent to me for like PR or anything. The first one is my first order from Glossier. I got two of their balms and their perfume. I'm really excited to try it out because I've heard good things. And then I just stocked up on my Summer Fridays lip butter balms. I, I got two different flavors this time. I got pink sugar and mint, but I will show you that when I get home. It is so hot in this car. I turned the car off. I'm going to go in, get some groceries, and I'll see you later. I just got back, so I wanted to show you what I picked up. Got bananas, milk, soft soap, eggs, a lemon, a can of pumpkin, Hawaiian rolls, honey butter biscuits, butter pecan coffee, and tortillas. For me, I got this ground beef chuck, bacon, and there's chicken tenders in there. Next, I got orange juice, sour cream, and two different flavors of Olipop. And I saw Bloom at Walmart, and I've heard so much about it, I just wanted to try it and decide for myself if I think it's worth it. I saw this online recently and I saw it in store and I wanted to try it. Got some more cheesecake crumble, guacamole, working hands, some flowers, some hard boiled eggs, cheese, loofahs, raspberries. I was gonna get strawberries but they were moldy so I wasn't gonna do that. I thought these looked good. They're Thomas Blueberry Oat Muffin Tops, and then these are the first two flavors I got, Key Lime Crumble and S'more S'mores. The last things I got were Iceberg Salad, Baby Spinach, Hawaiian Bread, another pack of Biscuits, two Avocados, three Caramel Apples, Easy Ups, Carrots, Strawberry and Grape Jelly, and Perfect Peach Cobbler and Salted Caramel Crunch Yogurt. I wanted to show you what the packaging looked like for Summer Fridays and Glossier. 
and these are just what the products look like. I will have these linked down below. Like I said, I have never tried anything from Glossier before, but I've heard good things about their perfume. I wanted to unbox it and do a first impression. I just got the rollerball because I didn't know if I would like it. It does smell good. It's really fresh. I'm just going to start cleaning up a bit. I put all the groceries away. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm probably going to go outside since it's really nice out. Also, I wanted to show you this. I have never heard of this brand before, but they were doing a giveaway on their Instagram. It's from Strip Makeup. It's their whipped coconut makeup remover. And it comes in this really cute packaging. And you open it up. And this is what it looks like. Let me know if you have tried this and if you liked it or not. Hey guys, it is the end of the night now. 7.24. The baby got a bath while I was out running errands. And I didn't mention that the Glossier package came with a sample. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, so I'll leave it linked down below. But I'm wearing one of the light shades and I think it's a little bit dark but when you put it on it was really thick so for future reference you only need a little bit but my skin I think looks really good I'm not wearing any powder or anything or primer but I like the way it looks I'm not too sure how much it costs so I probably wouldn't get that but I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I took it all off. Hey guys, it's the next day now. I just wanted to end up this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!